Fortnite is banning thousands of your guys' accounts here in Fortnite permanently. Make sure you guys keep watching. We're going to be covering everything you need to know to make sure your account stays safe. And real quick, before we dive into this madness, we got to go to the item shop and send our daily gift to a lucky subscriber. Hey, we got our boys, the henchmen, back in the shop, so I'll be sending these as today's gift. If you guys want to receive a gift in a future video, all you have to do is drop a like, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, and also leave your epic usernames down below so I can add you and send you the gift. Have you ever hit an awesome clip but then realized you weren't recording then outplayed is perfect for you outplayed is a two-in-one recording and editing software where you're able to do everything you need to share your best moments and gameplay all in one place it automatically captures highlights that you can customize on every single game that you play it's available to over 1,000 games including Fortnite it's actually something that I use to show off my best moments of every single game and it allows you to save so much time without having to sift through the entire raw footage and then directly from outplayed played itself, you're able to share this to a bunch of social medias and discords to show off to your friends. Download Outplay with the link down in the description. It's 100% free and I highly recommend it. And a big shout out to everyone using code NERP2 in the Fortnite item shop. Your support really helps me out. So thanks to everyone that's using it. You guys are legends. But diving right into the video, this one is a very serious one because I'm genuinely making this to help you guys out there not lose your Fortnite accounts permanently. This game has been out for five years now, we literally just passed Fortnite's fifth birthday anniversary for the Battle Royale mode, which we all know and love here. And it's a shame to lose your account for something that you've spent years and years of time on, especially because I know a lot of you guys out there probably spent hundreds, if not thousands of dollars over the course of these last five years buying V-Bucks, skins, battle passes, and stuff that you'll never be able to get back if your account gets permanently banned. Oh God, the thing I'm landing at is literally like a little half tower. There's gonna be nothing here, man. Yeah, you're not hiding in the bush. Not today, my friend. Now, Fortnite banning accounts and everything has been around for quite some time. You guys know, especially for those of you guys that play on Fortnite PC, there is a very, very good and strict anti-cheat. So if you have aimbot or anything, chances are your account's going to get banned before you could even play a full game. And game companies banning people for cheating is nothing new. So this really shouldn't be that big of a surprise. But something changed and Fortnite actually made a very big breakthrough with anti-cheat at the beginning of season four, which caused tens and thousands of people in the Fortnite community to actually lose their accounts and get banned permanently. And it all started on the first launch day of chapter three season four itself when the Fortnite status Twitter account tweeted out saying restricted hardware update starting this season players who use restricted devices that provide a competitive advantage may receive an in-game warning attempts to bypass this will result in a permanent ban restricted devices include cronus zen and cronus max now for those of you guys that do not know what a cronus zen or cronus max are i was in the same boat as you i am someone that is playing video games my whole life I have always grew up playing on consoles, so that is why, even though I am currently playing on PC, I plug in my controller to my computer so I don't have to use keyboard and mouse, because honestly, I'm not very good with it. I have mad respect for those of you guys that are, because it does take a lot of hand-eye coordination. But after doing a little bit of research, I actually found out that Cronus Zens and Cronus Maxes are these little devices, and of course, I'll throw images up on the screen so you guys can see what they look like. There are these little devices that will plug into your console and then there's like this little box and then it has a cord that plugs into your con that actually plugs into your controller. So it's a way to plug in these cheating devices to your controller. And what's really insane about these is they were actually undetectable basically with every single video game that you play. When I was doing research for these, I actually found that Call of Duty community actually has a lot of issues with people using these because they give you an incredible, incredible advantage. It's not like really getting aimbot where you're literally just headshotting people everywhere across the map. And you don't have to do anything, but it definitely improves your gameplay tenfold. The Google definition of this is a Chronosin is a small device that players connect to their controllers or PCs it can be used with almost any console or controller and allows players to mod their gaming equipment to give them an unfair advantage in game. Once connected, players attach scripts to their Cronus, which give them in-game benefits. And on the actual website for these Cronus things, this is their advertising right here. So you guys can see, depending on the game you're playing, obviously it's not going to work on every single game, but mainly games where you are fighting other players with weapons and stuff. It, it has rapid fire mods anti-recoils to where you don't have any recoil on any weapons 
aim assist, which is way stronger than the natural aim assist you get playing on a controller, which is one of the huge advantages with these things in the first place. Jitter mods, drop shot mods, sniper breaths, quick scopes, fast reloads, and auto sprint, which is all stuff that, like I said, it's not going to just make you the best player ever if you're someone that's awful at video games. But if you are a decent player, the aim assist being very strong along with these other mods where there's no recoil, rapid fire, it makes it very unfair and I did not realize how many people actually use these until doing research for this video. And the reason why so many people use these is because they're undetectable, there is not a single game out there up until Fortnite in the beginning of the season that was banning players for using these. Like I said, there are so many people in the Call of Duty community that use these and pretty much any video game that's classified as an FPS yes, there is people probably using these because of how accessible, cheap, and undetectable they are in all games. Ring around the rosy. Boom. Oh my goodness, he almost took me out there. That was way too close for comfort. Now, like I said, the main reason I'm talking about this and I want you guys to understand these is because Fortnite is the first big game out there where people are obviously using them for a competitive advantage that is actually able to detect them now. And as of the beginning of season four, if you hop into a match of Fortnite while having one of these devices connected to your game or console or whatever you're playing on, it actually detects it and will kick you out of the match as soon as you try jumping from the battle bus. So you're not even really able to play a full match using these anymore as of the beginning of season four. And where it gets crazy is Fortnite is actually nice enough to give people warnings, but if you're dumb enough to actually try to hop back into another game and still use these cheating devices, Fortnite will then permanently ban an IP ban your Fortnite account to where you're never going to be able to hop on Fortnite again if you're on the same IP address and that original account that you were using will never be able to be obtained again. So all the skins, money, progress, and pretty much everything achieved and unlocked on the account is gone for good. Which like I said, considering Fortnite's so popular and been out for five years, there are some very valuable accounts out there. Like for myself, if I were to actually use one of these devices and get banned, I would lose my account that's probably worth around $10,000 just because of all the skins, battle passes, the OG stuff I have from the early days of Fortnite. And uh, that'd be a pretty big loss on my part. So the main reason I'm talking about this is because I think it's awesome that Fortnite finally was able to discover a software to detect these in the first place. But to warn you guys out there, even though I don't agree with people cheating, I think it's really scummy, especially on games like Fortnite where, I mean, most people are just playing to have fun like myself. But if you are someone that actively uses these Cronus devices or anything else of the sort, because I'm sure there's other companies that make ripoff versions that do the same thing, Definitely make sure to stop using these and um, I really would not recommend it because I don't want anyone losing their Fortnite accounts regardless if you've been using these or not. I think it's time that uh, everyone learn their lesson and I don't think it's worth losing an account that you've had for years and years over something so silly. So for those scumbags out there that use these, I'm just joking around, but for those guys that are using them, please do not use them anymore. It makes the experience better for everyone and it'll keep your account safe because uh, as of right now, that is really the only way you can get banned really, really quickly here in Fortnite is by using one of these or obviously just using like legit aimbot and stuff. But that costs a lot of money. That's only available on PC and those players get banned like almost instantly. So people know it's not worth it. Now, what's awesome about this news as well is I'm hoping that other game companies out there can learn from Fortnite and develop stuff to detect them. Like I said, I know there's probably a lot of you guys that play Call of Duty since that's a very popular game. And that is another community that is infested with people actually using these things. And, um, oh god. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, I am not dead. Oh my goodness, dude. But I'm really hoping the other game companies out there can figure out what Epic Games and Fortnite did to stop it. So that way there's just no more cheaters at all. Oh my god, I'm dead. I, dude, what is, literally, what is happening? Why is there so many people here, and why does no one have heals? Oh my gosh. Now, let me know down below in the comment section if you guys have ever come across people cheating with these things, or if you've seen friends in real life that have these. Like I said, I've never seen one of these before, and other than seeing people talk about them in the, in the Call of Duty community, I've never actually looked up what they did and all the statistics and stuff about them, but considering that a lot of people play Fortnite on a controller, like majority of the players play on a console and a controller, there is probably a lot of people using these things that just have been going undetected for so long. So the fact that they developed this is awesome, but uh, I'm just curious if you guys have ever come across these personally. 
Oh, you are a goner. Oh god, potato, potato. Potato aim, no, man. That was my chance to win. That's the last guy right there. If I had just any better aim, that dude is literally one shot. All right, well, hopefully... Oh god, he has a sniper, dude. If he, sh if he snipes me in the head, I'm gonna be big sad. Okay, he, he has good aim. He has good aim. Oh my goodness, I thought he was about to just destroy my world there with the sniper shot. That is a GG though, boys. Let's go. Not the prettiest win we've ever had. A lot of close calls, but 10 eliminations. The win streak stays alive here on the channel. That's a GG. And just so you guys can see, here's my controller. The only cord plugged in is a, US, a micro USB to my computer. No Cronus. Don't worry, boys. I'm not cheating. I'm not flying under the radar. That is a legit win. But with all that being said, that's all I got for you guys in today's video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.